this next bit is not for the radio at all. Uh, it's a brand new short film created for this event. You are the premier audience created by comedian and This American Life contributor for this event, especially Mike Birbiglia. Let's roll the film. <laughs> Be no, no, please. If you don't laugh, I have no career. <laughs> um, the, uh... So your father's a neurologist. Was he able to help you understand your sleepwalking? Uh, you know, he suggested that I, I see a doctor. Well, that sounds like a good idea. Yeah, which is a, a great idea. And um, and I and I, I went to see a, a sleep specialist, and I was diagnosed with. REM behavior disorder. See, I think it's amazing that you were able to take something that's so scary and make it into something so funny. Oh, thanks. Yeah. Well, Mike Birbiglia, thank you for joining us on Fresh Air. Oh, thank you, Terry. Good. Thanks. That was fun. Oh, thank you. Um, so that's it, huh? Yep. All right. Thank you. Oh, uh, sure. Yeah, no, thank you. Are, um, do you have another interview right now, or...? No, I'm just going to go home. I have so much work to do. Do you, um, do you want to, like, go for coffee or something? Um... I'm just, like, in town, and, yeah, I don't, I don't have any plans or anything. Uh, well, sure, sure. So, Mike, you write in your book that when you were growing up, you switched schools a lot. What effect did that have on you? Well, you know, it was hard. I mean, I think it definitely impacted my experience and kind of made me who I am. And, and I, you know, I really just tried to kind of write it all down. Did you keep journals when you were young? I didn't keep journals as much as I wrote poems and draw pictures, things like that. But, but you know, I, and I saved a lot of them. My mom has some. Well, Mike, thank you so much for coming out to coffee. Oh, thanks for having me to coffee, Terry. Sure. What are you, um, what are you, what are you up to now? Now? Oh, my, my husband's making dinner. Oh, that sounds great. Mm. I, I'm, I'm, I'm just in town. I'll probably end up just getting room service at the Holiday Inn. Do they even have room service? Uh, that's a good point. Yeah, no, I, I'll probably end up just getting, like, a spicy chicken sandwich at Wendy's and just eating it in my bed. And mm. then, like, I'll end up getting, like, grease and crumbs in the bed. And, but then I'll switch beds, so that'll be good. I mean, could I come to dinner at your house? So, Mike, it's kind of interesting to see you eating chicken and rice from your book. I'd get the impression that you're obsessed with pizza. In fact, actually, I have something earmarked about that. Would you read it for us? Oh, yeah, sure. Yeah, here you go. This is it. Um, my favorite food is pizza, and my favorite time to eat pizza is the moment before I fall asleep. I think that could be a menu item, pizza until you fall asleep, and you call and order it and leave the door unlocked, and you time it so the delivery guy walks in with a pizza shaped like a travel pillow, and you wrap it around your neck, and you eat it while doing neck rolls until you fall asleep. I bet a lot of readers can really relate to that. Mike, thank you so much for joining us for dinner. Thanks for having me to dinner, Terry. So what are you guys doing now? What do you mean? Do you have plans? Because I'm, like, wide open. Uh, we, we do have plans. I, I don't think it's the kind of thing we can take someone to. Well, I'm up for anything. Like, I, I'd just be like a fly on the wall. Um, uh, Mike, what I'm trying to tell you is that this is private. Terry, I respect your privacy, and I would love to join you. So, Mike, in, in your memoir, you often write about painful experiences in your life that involve other people. Do you worry about protecting them? You know, I don't really think about it because, you know, when you're writing something that big, you're just struggling to just kind of get it all out on the, you know, page. Yeah, well, that's interesting. Okay, Mike. We're gonna have you cover the guard, or we run into the safe and grab some money. Um, okay, I, I don't really know how to use a gun. It's okay. Think of it this way. You didn't know how to write a book until you wrote one.
Wow. What happened? Oh, it's Terry. I'm so sorry. I shot the guard by accident. And then I shot myself by accident. Well, what does it feel like to be shot? It's pretty bad, Terry. I don't think I'm gonna make it. Well, Mike Berbiglia, thank you so much for joining us on this bank heist. Thank you, Terry.